morning, family. Um, we're going to be in Colossians chapter 3, verse, uh, oh gosh, where are we? Verse 18 to start. Um, but God bless you, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope your life is filled with joy, man. I really do. Uh, so, because I'm about to present to you one of two of women's favorite verses in the entire Bible. Uh, one is in Ephesians. Um, Husbands, uh, wives respect your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. And it's the same thing right here. Uh, verse 18, wives submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. And it goes on, husbands love your wives and do not be bitter towards them. Children obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing in the Lord. And then this I think probably uh, is supremely important. Fathers do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. I'm going to talk about that for just a second, then we'll go back to verse 1. But in, in my years in ministry, I can't count the amount of times I've had people come to me. I was raised in a Christian home, but watching the way my father acted and watching the way my household was run, I, ha I had to leave. I had to run away because there was so much hypocrisy. There was so My dad was a deacon at the church, and friends to everybody and you know we were thought of as being this perfect Christian family but my dad was a my dad was a butthead and 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 I had to I couldn't I couldn't stay I couldn't stay in the church every once in a while they had my father you know <clears throat> anyway it just fathers do not provoke your children lest they become convert discouraged so what does provoke mean it means to provoke through your actions, to your physical actions, your your mental actions, your your psychological actions, your you know just the way you conduct your life in front of your sons and your daughters is going to put them in a position of well this is how it is, but it's not how the Bible says it should be, and it's difficult, man. It's difficult being a dad. But let's don't be short with our children. Let's be loving with our children. You know, I'm, I'm not the greatest. But when my daughter says, hey, Dad, hey, Dad, hey, Dad, I'm like, i, I got to drop everything and be in full attention. She's in senior cheer now, and I will not miss a game because those are the things that encourage my daughter. When she says, Dad, look at this report I'm doing, or, or Dad, come watch my theater performance, or hey, Dad, can I have 20 bucks, or Hey, Dad, can you give me a ride over to my friend's house? Or, hey, Dad, can I have some of my friends over to spend the night? You need to move your motorcycle outside so I can use the playroom. And I, I, I just, I do my very best to say yes to all of those things. Well, her report card just came in. 3.65 grade point average and, eight, and, and, and all A's. And so I texted her at school. I said, babe, so proud of you. So proud of you. Womp and grade point average and straight A's. Are you kidding? Look at you go. Now, I, I texted that to her about 10 o'clock this morning. And I haven't heard back. But I know that encouraged her. Sometimes we do discouraging things unintentionally. But man, we got to... We got to turn that around. We got to do something good. We got to do something to make our children think or let them know that we care about them, that we care about them so much. Now, going back to verse 1, wives, submit to your own husbands as fitting in the Lord. If you've raised the daughter in the way that I just spoke, and trust me, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect by any stretch. Sometimes she gets mad at me for stuff, and I, I, I say the wrong thing about her and her boyfriend at, at the wrong time, like, But pouring into her down there where it says, do not provoke your children. When you pour in down there, trying to be encouraging, trying to be, it, it really helps with verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing to the Lord. There's got to be a symbiosis. There's, there's got to be a, a thing where you love each other in spite of difficulties. You love each other in spite of moments of stress or disagreement. Where at the end of it all, you know you love each other. 
And I think I'm going to have to get back with this again tomorrow because there's so much more to say about these these three four verses, and um, and I want to be I want to cover it. So let's get ready for a little more about this family guidance uh, tomorrow. Pray with me, Heavenly Father. Thank you, thank you so much, Lord, for this rich word that you've given us, and thank you for giving us ears to hear, eyes to see. Lord, and I lift up our church and anybody else who might be watching today and just pray for blessings. Pray for alignment. Pray for learning. Pray for blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I was a dead man. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.